Right, today I'm going to do a bit of uh, spiking of the field. Uh, I've done it here for, God, 10, 10 years now probably. And it works really well. You've just got to keep doing it every year. There's no point people expecting it to work after one year. You need to do it every year. And both ways across the field as well, slow. I suppose about five mile an hour or something. As you can see by this pasture, it's had a hard old life. Especially this year with the snow and everything in the sheep, so... After I'll finish now, it'll be spongy. But don't go on the ground when it's too wet, because you'll make a mess and it doesn't do any good. So... You need plenty of weight. This is a Browns 4.5 metre one. So I, I have to be honest, so I like the thing, but the problem I do find is when them two wings fall down, uh, you just can't keep enough weight on the thing. They keep folding up quietly back, even with the thing locked on, so what I do is, see in the middle there, I've made a bit of a thing to hold them weight off the front of the tractor, and I transfer three of them, and I put them on each side here. And I've also filled the middle up with concrete. Uh, I don't know how much weight is in it, but this doesn't like it a lot. But uh, you need weight, you want it to go right in. So I'll just put these um, weights on, roughly. Uh, I'd right, like to find some lead weights I could put into the, the wings or some metal things if I can, but I haven't been able to find any yet, so these will do for now. And I also put these pieces of rubber in there just to stop it making a noise clanking and banging. It's a bit Heath Robinson, but it does work. Also, they reckon with this thing, a lot of people who don't use it totally diss it, but if you do it on your fields every year, I try to do it once a year at least, it'll increase the grass growth by 20%, so it doesn't sound a lot, but you if you put a thousand quid worth of fertilizer down, that's 200 quid saved, isn't it? So, that's how I look at it. Right, I'll show you a bit when I'm Right, going. I just put the weights on. They're only roughly put on there for now. I put a bit of rubber on them to stop them moving about. They're 50 kilos each, them um, blue weights. There's 150 each side. And that concrete in the middle, so God knows what that weighs. But it needs it. It needs to go right into the hilt. And you can put a twist on these blades, but... I find it makes a little bit more of a mess on the field, but it's up to you. So, I'll do this now and I'll uh, spring tine harrow it after to get this bit of muck in, and then, and then you can just cut hay straight on it after. So. Okay, I'll show you how as we go. Can you see that properly? You can't go too far. The trouble. If you go too fast, they don't dig in and they make a mess. Like I said, you remember this field has had sheep on it all year long, so he's had a bit of a hammer. And I'll go across this one way now and then I'll do it the other way. It's just monotonous, it is bloody monotonous. But if you want a bit of a saving, it's worth doing it. I bet you that mole here is wondering uh, where he's going at his breakfast table. After them spikes have gone through it. I got me trusty old TW20. I know she's a big old lump, she's 150 horsepower, but it's my favourite tractor to drive. As long as you don't cane it, it doesn't use too much fuel either. If you start caning it, then you can see the petrol gauge go down, the diesel gauge go down. But you've got to have a bit of fun in life, haven't you? <laughs> tractor anorak, you see. 